Hello everyone, welcome back to Fury Time channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The QA World Heavyweight Boxing Champion Tyson Fury is confident that he will be able to defeat Francis Nagano in a mixed martial arts match. I will beat Nagano in the ring, and then I will deal with him in MMA. Francis is far from the best wrestler. If he goes for a takedown, then I will catch him with an uppercut and a knee to the head and finish with an elbow. On October 28th, Yuri will hold an exhibition boxing match against Nagano at a tournament in Saudi Arabia. For the Cameroonian, this will be his debut in the ring. Francis was previously the UFC heavyweight champion. Nagano has 17 wins and 3 losses in MMA. Fury has 33 wins and 1 draw in the provisional ring. Renowned boxer Mike Tyson, who is preparing former UFC fighter Francis Nagano for a boxing match with heavyweight Tyson Fury, spoke about the expectations of the upcoming fight and praised the Cameroonian fighter. I think he will do very well, it's all about experience. When he fights, he just needs to remember not to use his legs, which he has never actually done. He is a real powerful puncher, very fast for a big guy. I just think he will do better than most people think. Tyson Fury will fight with a former UFC champion Nagano. Many call this confrontation a battle, I'm guessing. We are talking only about a commercial hype duel. Everyone wants to ring a pocket. It will be kinda tied to red exclusively an exhibition match. Here we are not talking about who is the strongest hobbyweight in boxing. We are talking about a big money. To support it, Nagano is a star in UMMA. Judy is in a boxing. Here we are talking only about youth and a good check for both of them. Doesn't Gano have any chances in a duel with such a pro? Nagano has no chance. Objectively, there is no chance. Of course, it's clear to everyone that Nagano is a big guy. He did not come from table tennis, but if Fury gets ready, then he has no chance. He won't be able to beat him in boxing. Of course, the fight is an exhibition boat, the result is not so important, but the favorite is Tyson Fury, it's obvious to me. Of course, there are knockout blows, but if we look objectively from the point of view of boxing, Nagano has zero chances. Are Nagano and the Fury able to surpass the confrontation between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor? I don't think so. They want to be able to reach those numbers. Comparing Floyd with Tyson Fury is not the best option. Fury, of course, made a revolution in the heavyweight division. Shows very bright fights, but in terms of popularity, he cannot be compared at all with Floyd. His boxing legacy is too great, just different levels. Is the same story with Nagano, if you compare the attention. The media, especially with one that Conor was at his peak. I think that no MMA fighter in the world has had such popularity as McGregor. Conor and Floyd fight once raised a lot of money. Although this duel, although this duel will look very interesting. Two big giants. There will be a lot of interest, but it will not come close to the finances and the fees of that fight. This is a purely commercial fight, exhibition, hype. He doesn't look like a clown. He will go out to fight, earn a lot of money, beat this guy. I don't understand what the cloning is about. He does not claim that this is the duel of his dreams, of his wobble life. That Nagano is the strongest opponent in his career. He doesn't do that. We need to look at it more calmly. From the point of view of television history, this is a real show and the audience will look at it as a show. No one will wait for this fight like Ali Foreman. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.